Robots have taken over a museum in our region. Robots Among Us is a toy collection of tin mechanisms on display at Windsor's Community Museum. And while it may appear to be child's play, John Lewis explains the exhibit is meant to show the greater role that toy robots have played in our society. The space shuttle you see on the top there is really probably one of the last big tin toys ever made. Daryl Dupuy is proud of his collection of toy robots from the 50s and 60s. He started collecting them as a child in the 1960s, a time he says held a great promise of things to come. We were going to be on the moon, which we did. We were going to go to Mars. We were going to have robots like uh, Rosie the Robot do our housework for us. Um, and as you can see, some of that happened, not a lot of it did, and uh, this is the result of it. At one point, Dupuy had as many as 800 toys, but has since gotten rid of some of them and now has about 400. Some of them he's put on display at Windsor's Community Museum for an exhibit called Robots Among Us. I love them, I don't, but I, I don't know much about them, but I'm fascinated by them. Patricia Bedard's grandson is less impressed. Any similarities to today's toys at all? Or Not completely? really. No. I think so. Completely <laughs> different. Despite the size and limited function, Dupuy says these toys are truly robots. He says Japan took over most of the production from the U.S. under a peace agreement following the Second World War. While seemingly harmless at the time, Dupuy says the world moved into making smaller gadgets and the Japanese have continued to refine the model to the point where they are making strides to develop an actual robot for commercial use. It's only going to be a few years from now when you would be able to have a helper robot in your house. Dupuy says some of the toys also took on political overtones, like the Rock'em Sock'em robots. There was the blue bomber, who was supposedly the American, and there was the red rocker, who was the Russian. And it was literally a battle of the Cold War done on your tabletop. The display here at the Windsor Community Museum goes from now until the end of August. John Lewis, A News.